yo, are we gonna do this? Can we hit him with it? Oh, oh, we just hit him with a shenane. What's good, guys? My name is, of course, Kazen. Today, I've got a brand new video for you all. Today, we're on some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 back to black ops 3 year 2 and basically i'm going to be telling you guys all about my favorite jet packing call of duty and or futuristic call of duty and i'm pretty sure you guys can guess what it is all right so here we go we got the razor back right now and guys we're going to be talking about all the futuristic cards and which one is my absolute favorite all right, so if you guys haven't guessed it already, Black Ops 3 is definitely by far my most, most favorite, most favorite. Is that even a thing? Hold on. Black Ops 3 is by far my favorite futuristic Call of Duty. Now I have my reasonings and we're going to discuss my reasonings. But before we get into straight up detail, let me know down in the comments which is your favorite futuristic Call of Duty. You've got a couple of choices. You've got Advanced Warfare, eh? Who doesn't love Advanced Warfare? You've got Infinite Warfare, you know, the legendary Infinite Warfare. The most, you know, pop selling Call of Duty on the market right now. You've got, you know, Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare. Come on, it is a clear option what you guys are going to choose. I know, I like Infinite Warfare as well. So, no, I'm joking guys, but in all seriousness, Black Ops 3 is a ton of fun. It's a ton of fun that people are still playing it. It's a ton of fun that we're still making year two Black Ops 3 videos. A whole other year of Black Ops 3. Every year we get that same saying, COD is dead, futuristic is dead, all this is dead, and... You know, once you actually look at it, it becomes more true. Less players playing and all that good stuff. But there are new players coming to join on Call of Duty, and it's not like it's complete trash. I mean, you may hate futuristic Call of Duty, but we're never going to get away from that unless one major step, and we're just going to take a rewind and go back to old COD. Now, like, if you think about it this way, when Black Ops 2 was out, you had all of that time with that regular boots on ground call of duties and the thing about i i can't say for myself because i joined black ops 3 late so i had no idea what i was doing i mean black ops 2 late but think about it to yourselves in black ops 2 the last like or not last in black ops 2 the last enjoyable um ghost wasn't so bad guys uh, if you played snd on it, it wasn't so bad give it a chance but we're gonna stick with black ops 2 for now so in black ops 2 after all those previous boots on ground, what was the thing that you wanted? Like, you know, didn't it get stale for a little bit? It might have not. I have no idea. I might be just talking, you know, nonsense. But let me know down in the comments. Call of Duty is going to change for however long they're going to stick and make in the game. It's always going to change. You can't just, you know, keep the same Call of Duty. It just makes it stale. And right now, Call of Duty is stale. Not Infinite Warfare. You never know how long this futuristic stuff is going to last. We can go back earlier than even those old Call of Duties. I really want to drop some knowledge for you guys. But I have no idea. I'm so dumb when it comes to Call of Duties. Like when the first one's released and stuff like that. I'm, I'm too young, guys. I don't know. Just bashing on Call of Duty every year probably isn't going to fix the situation. Um, I don't think anything is. We really have... I wish I didn't have to say this, but we really have no say... In what Call of Duty we want. There's an order in which the Call of Duties go from developers, and it's basically sticking to that order. But to stay true to the topic of the video, Black Ops 3 is by far my favorite futuristic Call of Duty because I love Black Ops 2. I just love the feeling. It was my first Call of Duty that I played a lot, a lot. So to, you know, have Black Ops 3, it was really fun. And it still is a ton of fun. I love the weapons. I love the movement. It's not so bad, and I really do enjoy it. Yes, it got frustrating at times. Yes, they added a lot, a lot of DLC weapons. But nonetheless, I really do love black ops 3 and it's just a great game yo are we gonna do this can we hit him with it oh oh we just hit him with the shenane the shenane that's why i love black ops 3 it's a game i'm decent at i didn't say good i said decent okay fine i'm 
Eh, okay, stop judging me. Not only was the pub side of the game fun, zombies was a ton of fun too. And you can't forget about competitive. Competitive actually worked out really well in this game. And, you know, I know you can't go back to the past when you loved watching Black Ops 2 or even Ghost competitive. But I don't think we can go back to that. Especially when the OG comp players, some of them aren't even there anymore. All right. Can I ask you guys something? On Black Ops 3, is the connection really bad or is it me? Whenever I get on this game, my connection just spikes. Like, I have no clue why. I want to record more Black Ops 3 videos for you guys, but this, this is, this is happening. All right, yep, that's a no-go. My connection's doing bad. You know, I'm about to smash my router. That's okay. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. I really do appreciate it. And let me know down in the comments once again. I'm really interested. Make sure to like the video if you have it connected to your Twitter. It helps me out a ton tweeting out my video with the hashtag SoRC. But yeah, I hope you guys have yourselves a great day. Stay fresh as always and peace out.